it may just take some of the hard work out of your summer holiday. The thousands here on Bondi Beach are sweating it out for a decent tan. But soon they may well be wasting their time, thanks to a new treatment which automatically generates melanin, the substance that makes the skin turn brown. Professor Alan Cooper has been studying the new drug. Melanin is the skin's natural protection against sun damage and against skin cancer. So anything that builds up melanin is going to give people additional protection from the sun. This is what happens when you lie in the sun. Ultraviolet radiation penetrates the upper layers of the skin and damages it, causing redness and burning. These damaged cells give off signals which release a natural hormone called MSH. Specialized tanning cells then produce the tanning molecule melanin. The melanin moves slowly into surrounding tissue, producing a tan in that area. It is the body's way of protecting the skin from subsequent sunburn. But Australian trials have now shown that by injecting a drug, the tanning process can start without the sun. John Parks was one of the human guinea pigs. People thought I'd been on holidays, but in fact I hadn't been. The tan was, was all over. You got tan in places where you know wouldn't normally get a tan. So the drug was definitely working. What's exciting, doctors, here isn't the prospect of an all-over tan, nice though that may be. It's the hope of reducing a health epidemic. Two out of three Australians suffer from some kind of skin cancer during their lifetime. As a result, most here spend their time either trying to stay out of the sun or at least protecting themselves from it. On Bondi, for instance, unsurprisingly perhaps, it is usually British tourists lying out in the midday sun. The experts say there is no such thing as a healthy tan, or that it has been their mantra until now. Previously that was the case, but now it's not the case that we will be able to give people a tan without them getting the sun damage. The treatment won't work on all, but the makers say it should on most. They hope to have it on sale in the next two years. Then there will be a tan without the sweat. Michael Peshard, BBC News, Bondi Beach.